Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 6th to the 12th of May 2019 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Leo. So we have five cards laid out as usual, all clarified with a separate Rider Waite deck. deck. So, past position, Nine of Wands, present position, Queen of Pentacles, challenges should you have any, Ten of Cups, the Sun represents advice from Tarot, and the Death card is the Outcome. I've also pulled an Angel Oracle card and a Spirit Message card for further clarification, Leo. So let's start with the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is clarified by the Fool. This Nine of Wands energy, and it's your energy, is fire energy, is about somebody who is near achievement, somebody who's so close to success, though they can't see it. They're weary, they're tired, they want to give up. And the card asks you to persevere, to be determined, to find that fire in your belly, to push forward. This person is grabbing hold of their wand of opportunity, of growth, of success with both hands. And it's saying, don't let something so close be out of your grasp. So I think some of you have been working hard. Some of you have been fighting forward, maybe fighting obstacles, challenges. And some of you may well be weary with the situation. Some of you may be tired. Some of you may have wanted to give up because it was too hard. And this is the card of saying, don't hold yourself back. Don't self-sabotage at the 11th hour. This is where you need to push on to get that completion, to bring about change into your life because it's on offer. And for some of you, like I said, it is finding that passion, that drive to bring about that new beginning, to bring about that change, which is what the fool represents. This can be taking that leap of faith on yourself and your situation. It could also be taking a leap of faith on somebody else. Whatever this is, ones can talk about our passions, our desires, certainly on the love front. It can also talk about how we want to progress, how we want to grow and expand on the career front or the business venture front. It says, find that fire in your belly. The fool is the card of Uranus. It's a rebel card. It might well be that you're rebelling against, re rebelling against the norm. It might well be that you're wanting to do something in your own right. You're wanting to carve out your own path. Others may well not agree with it. It might be an element where it's not about conformity. It's about doing something that's true to you, to, true to your heart, soul, mind. This is about where you have that belief in yourself and belief about what you're doing. And don't hold back. Don't give up because you're so close. So this is... This is the past position, something that you've been wanting to bring about, a change. Now, the present position we have, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, gosh, this is so beautiful. These are clarified by the Page of Wands and the Chariot. <laughs> really powerful, Leo, really powerful. So the, the Queen of Pentacles, she is a sign of success, of authority, very patient. And it is a message to you to be patient you know, fire signs, in, fire, fire signs in particular can want everything now. You know, pages of wands can want everything happening like yesterday. You know, they have that fire, that passion, that drive, that inspiration, that creative energy. Uh, why is it taking so long? I want it like yesterday. I know I can progress. I can change my life for the better. I want to bring good change into my life. I'm grabbing hold of my opportunities. I'm asserting my own sense of power to bring change, new directions. And the Queen of Pentacles says it's waiting for you. This is your chance to bloom. But it's coming slowly and steadily. And that's good because when it arrives, when you start feeling that energy of success, certainly material success, appearing in your life, it's there for the long term. This is a long term energy. She also asks you to be focused, to be grounded right now. But it's your chance to bloom, it's your chance to flourish. You have the resources at your disposal now, whether you know it or not, Leo, to bring about real change. That's what these two cards mean. Changing your fortunes, certainly earthly fortunes, material wealth fortunes. 
can also be about the solid connections as well, being kind to other people, uh, acts of kindness, being compassionate, being patient with other people, not getting frustrated or frustrated with situations and opportunities. This is about being patient for the long term. It's card of Capricorn. So being very savvy, being very savvy as a person. So there might well be some opportunities that are presenting themselves to you to change, to go in new directions, could be new business ventures, could be new career progression, could just be changing your passions, your desires. Could well be, you know, you want to meet somebody that has the energies of the Queen of Pentacles, you know, kind, patient, grounded, good advice, sound advice. Yeah, she is. you know, abundance personified on, on earth. She creates her own paradise, natural paradise, a natural ability to create her little paradise on earth. Yeah, so, and she knows how to do it. She knows how to manifest that wealth, prosperity, security, but she does it with patience, with kindness. So yeah, good connections. So maintain that, Leo. It is about maintaining that now. Cultivation. Cultivating relationships as well. She's very good at that. And the chariot says that when you... You see, it can well be about reconciling differences within you. Reconciling differences. Maybe there's been fallouts, disagreements with people at work. There could have been different emotions pulling, pulling you in different directions or different groups of people pulling you in different directions, Leo. This is where you're reining all that in. You're reining those emotions within. You're reining anything that's pulled you off balance in so you can really release to move forward. This is also associated with the mind, releasing weights of the mind. So letting go of things that have held you back before, whether that's been emotional blocks, whether that's been mental blocks. This is eyes on the prize. This is forward movement. This is a card of victory. So wherever you're heading, I mean, these two cards alone, really victorious, certainly in terms of material security, material wealth. Absolutely beautiful. Ten of Cups. Now, this is your challenges. Okay, this is, um, this is Mars in Aries. So again, fire energy. Sorry, this is Mars in Pisces. So fire energy and water, almost kind of like the beginning and end of the Zodiac as well. So it's a major completion card. It is a card of success. It's a card of emotional happiness, emotional success. Happy family card. Bringing about a continued happy state. You want to bring about your abundance, happy life, a satisfaction, a strong soulmate energy as well. Some of you could be getting soul, an offer of soulmate energy. So whatever, if you are in a relationship, this is it growing to that Ten of Cups energy, divinely blessed energy. But you are participators in creating this. This is what you're working hard for. And this is your challenges because the Nine of Wands is about literally you're so close to completion. But it can also be about self-sabotage in the fact that you're staying stuck at this nine and you're not completing, you're not bringing in that success. And this is where you could self-sabotage yourself by holding back, by being too tired, by finding it too difficult, by putting it off till tomorrow. This is the card of, of putting things off. Well, I've come this far, I'm nearly there, so I'll put that off until tomorrow or the next day or I'll do it next week. I'll start making changes next week rather than this week. This is about taking action in your life now. This is Mars energy. The initiator, creator, this is very much about taking action in your life now, working towards a real happy home, real happiness, solid relationships, passionate relationships, being productive. This is a card of needing to be productive right now, one step at a time. But pushing forward to real achievement, real success. You see these two people and they have their hands up. 
this is almost kind of like a victory pose as well. Yes, they do mimic each other in terms of mirror imaging. That's the soulmate energy coming through. But they're almost kind of like participating in conjuring, conjuring up their rainbow. You see how they almost kind of like will it to come in? And this is about taking action in your own life, to keep taking action, to keep pushing through in order to achieve this state, perfected state of happiness, perpetual state of happiness. Because when this arrives, it's long term. This can be about this is can, this can be about perpetual success. So yeah, beautiful energy. Now the advice from Tarot, I mean this is the card of, you know, sun a sun in you know, sun in Leo. This is about real abundance. You know, this is about the I mean you've got two two nine of, of one's energy here. This can be about the wounds of the past, difficulties of the past, letting that go, feeling restored, feeling healed feeling more like your old self, but this is also very much, I mean, this is right next to the death card. Now, these two cards are actually associated. They both have that red feather in here. And it is about, you have gone through this process of letting go, of burning away the past. We can see that in that chariot. And this allows you to be, almost kind of like allow yourself to be reborn with these two cards side by side, be restored, Yes, it is almost kind of like being open to receive innocence of a child, but it's the wisdom that you've learnt, the lessons that you've learnt in the past that make you different. Because you've also got the Fool here as well. These three cards are associated. The Fool, the Sun, Death card. This is about real innocence. This is about real innocence. This is about almost kind of like that experienced innocence, that wisdom going forward with divine energy. This is divine light shining on you. You've been through a journey of revelation and through death, you're almost kind of, you see the block here, the, the brick wall, you're pushing through that boundary, pushing through boundaries now, resetting your own boundaries, which is what death is all about. Coming through the other side of that death energy and moving forward with new optimism on that journey. I mean, it's really powerful. This is a card of good news, a card of celebration, can be a card of childbirth as well, a card of abundance, a card of finding your natural power, a real, the most positive card in the tarot deck, the happiest, most positive card in the tarot deck, because it represents the divine energy. This is God, this is the universe, this is the divine, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful. And you're hearing the messages. You're hearing those messages. Inner messages from the divine. Inner guidance to guide you forward. You're really instinctive, Leo. Really instinctive. You're instinct you if you feel you need to do something, if your gut is telling you about a person or a situation, negative or positive, it's probably right. That's what Tara's telling you because there may well be somebody or a situation or a, a state of being um, that pulls you into that negative trap. Again, back to that nine of wands energy, feeling that you can't do it. And this sun card is saying you absolutely can. So this is not giving into that illusion of when our thoughts, our emotions start dominating us. Also where we give power to other people where we let other people control our lives, or we allow them to do that, when we allow them to manipulate us emotionally, mentally. This is you taking control back. This is you shining and awakening to your true path now. And Tara was saying, don't let anybody deviate you from that this week. So death, I've already kind of explained. There's a real transformation in death, and you see... Once you go through, um, let go of the past, let go of things that have hurt you, kept you back, kept you from achieving, again, the nine of wands energy, you progress and you see that sun rising that links with the sun card here. So it's a beautiful energy, Leo, beautiful energy. Resetting boundaries, allow yourself to be reborn. 
and it is letting go of past hurts, past scars, past wounds. Almost any limitations placed on you, rethink them now. Rethink them with that high priestess energy because you have that power to do that. To rethink your limitations, to reset them, to reset your boundaries because they're not holding you back anymore. Those blocks are not holding you back. The Hierophant. You're getting faith back in yourself. This is also getting spiritual faith back after that death process, being reborn into spiritual faith. This could also be a mentor, teacher, somebody guiding you forward. This can be a gateway to finding your own spirituality again, believing that you are being guided. But it is also about having faith in yourself, finding meaning in your life again, understanding where you're going, everything beginning to make sense. That's the Hierophant. It's a really earthly energy. So, yeah, beautiful energies. And, yeah, this is Mercury in Sagittarius, I think. So you will find this week opportunities begin to take shape, things that you've been working hard to achieve, again, that Ten of Cups energy you've been initiating in your life. You've been working hard, again, that Nine of Wands energy, to make something happen, to progress. And events start unfolding, they start morphing, taking shape. Again, messages may transform into opportunities. Communication might transform into opportunities. Events even as well being presented to you in order to help you progress. And it's all part of that being reborn process. So really powerful, Leo. So this can represent opportunities, could be on the business front. Uh, also opportunities to connect, uh, you know, on the, on the business front or on the home front. Even on the love front, potentially finding your passions, your, your desires. Opportunities to progress, most definitely, in all aspects of life. This is divine guidance as well. This can connect to divine energy. Where you're open to receive... And that's the beauty, open to receive. You see, the, the child is open to receive. The fool is open to receive. Believes, they believe. They believe that they can change their world for the better and they also believe in their own faith, their own sense of faith, whatever that means to you. Now, the angel oracle card. I've had this literally for nearly every sign this week so far. Overcoming difficulties. It must be a statement. Um, Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. I mean, that's beautiful. And that's what it says. The death card does say you've released. You've released and you're moving forward. The spirit message card is love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Absolutely. And it is propelling you. I think this is propelling you through life. Your challenge is to make sure that you engage with it, most definitely. And have that balance as well between work and home, you know, career and, and home life. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I will see you next time. Thank you.